Hot Wheels homies. What's going on out there in uh, diecast world? You like that? Getting all up in your face? I'm in your face! Shout out to Dotson. Man, it's a pretty cool dude. Some of you guys know him. Anyway, I've got the uh, work shirt covered because I'm making a quick video because I couldn't do it last night because I was too tired. I was trying to wrap up some last minute touches on another custom that I was working on for Alex Graff out there. I'm trying to get that finished. I get the video done so I can get the car sent and then I'll release the video after he gets the car. But I've got some serious concerns about something and I wanted to uh, really, uh, you know, Heartfelt message to all of you out there. Help me through this. Uh, I'm going to put a phone number down at the bottom right here. 1-800-OFF-THE-RAILS. Um, if you know someone who is, uh, you know, just crazy. I mean, they're, they're just nuts. Okay, so Andre Cruz is one of them. He's probably going to need to call. There's some great folks that answer this phone. Uh, he can help you out, Andre. Reason I covered my shirt. I don't want you trolling me at work. You know, he sent me that cool custom a while back, but you show up here. Uh, actually, I wish you would show up here so we can go build some customs together. But uh, anyway, this particular video, though, I've got this phone number down here listed for one member of this community in particular. And if you don't know who you are, as we begin to talk through this, I'll explain it at the end. You know, sometimes you have to, you have to lead the horse to the water, you know what I'm saying? So, 1-800 off the rails. Make the call before, as you're watching through the end of this video. Again, you know who you are. So, let's backtrack just a short time. Alex Graff sends me a message. He sends me an email. He says, hey, hey, brother B, I want you to uh, build me a custom. I'm going to send it to you and have you build it however you want. You know, it's your choice. I'm like, oh, well, that's cool, man. I appreciate the... Uh, the vote of confidence, because I'm, you know, still, I don't think they're that great. Um, people around me say, oh, I love them, they're so cool, and I just, I, I don't know, I'm just, uh, perfect. it's like Hewitt said in his video, you know, if we think our stuff is perfect, then, you know, probably got some deeper issues, because, man, every time I do one, I don't like the way this turned out, I don't like the way that turned out. So kudos, Alex, for working uh, that video Alex Graff did uh, just a short time ago. Uh, the 53 fleet that he built, man, it's fantastic. Who cares about all the little, little tiny errors? We're talking about cars that are like two or three inches long, four inches long, and you've got headlights. Ding, ding, ding. I mean, you're tapping them things in there, and you got to be just right to be perfect. And it's about impossible, eh? except for Hewitt's. And, you know, he, he says it's not, but yeah, okay. Yeah, like glass coating that you put on them ain't perfect. Okay. That's right, James. Anyway, Alex sends me a message. I'm going to send you a car. So he spends, you know, four or five bucks sending me a car. I was like, wow, that's really cool, man. I cannot wait to start on this car. If work has been nuts, I would have already had it done and shipped. It would be in his hand by now, so I apologize for the delay. But then, a few days later, I get another package. He sends me an email. He says, hey, Brian, by the way, I ordered something. It's going to have your name on it with Alex in the middle. I ordered you this to say thanks for building the custom. Okay, 1-800 off the rails. Here we go. So Alex orders me two Lesney vintage cars off of that just because I'm going to build it. He wants me to build him a custom. Man, that dude, you don't have to do that kind of stuff, my friend. Man, we're all buds out here. I'd have built you a car out of the pile that I got to send it to you if you wanted. <laughs> but, hey. You're an awesome freaking dude. So then, Alex does a video. He built a 53 series. We're going to send, a, send some cars out. So, another $4.25. At this point, Alex has spent part of my you know whole life savings on shipping me three or four packages. Dude, too kind, too kind, too kind. But the reason I wanted to show y'all, I'm just going to you got to go check out his video. It's so awesome. But I kind of peeked at it earlier. I had to see what was going on. A little note. Brian, very thankful for the custom you are building for me. I wanted to return a favor for by building one for uh, special for you, Alex Graff. Dude, man. 
you are quite the class A dude. I think you got some screws loose up there. You keep sending me stuff. Man, so I've got not only that 69 square Mac, but I've got another car that I put together for you. And I've also got uh, some, based on the video you were talking about, a guy that has very little access to uh, some treasure hunts. Man, I got a lot of extra treasure hunts in my box, and so I'm going to send uh, send a few his way, too. That way you can give them to him, and he can enjoy them, because that's what this is all about. So, as y'all saw in Alex's video, bam! Check that out. Look at this, would you? Volkswagen SP2! Good with them shades of Ray-Bans driving at 53. Check that sucker out. So, I'm going to take it out of the package just like uh, James did because I probably will be doing the same that James does, which is I've got a little case that I've started. Uh, I've got, uh, once I get my whole office and things changed around as to how I'm going to have it all set up, I'm going to have these customs in there next to me on these videos, and it's going to be close to my custom station as well. So there it is. Check out that. Check out that 53. Yeah. Get it to zoom in just right. Let me back up here. Watch this. I can tap this screen so I can get it to zoom on it. There it goes. Well, a little better. Anyway, check it out, man. Little headlights in there. Looks good. Look at the stripe. Check it out. Let's get it. Let's get it even. Right down the line. Look at that. Looking good. Looking good. Like James said, can we all critique each other's work? Yes, we can. Do we need to? No, we don't. Because it doesn't matter that there's things that you see on the car that you don't like. The fact that you put this together, thought of people like myself, spent $9,000 on shipping to send me these cars. Dude, that's beyond the coolest thing ever. And I am so honored to have one of your first custom cars. It's going to be in my collection forever. Once I die, I'll pass it on to someone else that would like them within the community or family, whichever may be the case. But, uh, man, look, check it out. Yep, I'm with you there, brother. Got to have a license plate on the back of that. The license plate there. Tail lights going on. Heck yeah, man. I love them white uh, them white wheels on there. That thing looks good. I like that car a lot. And heck yeah, man. Did a fantastic first customs tagging the headlights with a little, uh, little silver action. It's really good. Really good. Got a little signature on the bottom. A G W C. Got your sticker. I've got some stickers finally on the way, so hopefully I'll have them soon. Get them sent out. But, uh, Anyway, man, dude, just fantastic, fantastic, fantastic. And uh, I'll tell you, man, you can reach out to any of us anytime. You know that. You've asked me a few questions. I know you've asked some other folks a few questions. And, man, the only way you get better is to keep building them and to keep knocking them out. You make mistakes. Uh, the car that I built for you, I screwed up the interior on it. Sure did. Had to readjust because I didn't have another 69 square back interior. So I had to fix those issues and uh yeah you know what it's got issues but hard to see hard to look you know you take it apart you're gonna be like "Ooh, that's ugly but that's the way this goes man a lot of practice i like doing a lot of stuff with the interior just to shift color um you know add i don't go quite the detail that uh, the james does and putting shifters in there and all that yet and nos bottles and fire extinguishers and you know gaskets and all that other cool stuff that he puts inside those cars but one thing at a time, man, we're going to start working on them and uh, find something that I like and I'm going to add to it. And uh, this is freaking cool, dude. And uh, I appreciate it so very much. Um, like I said, y'all see this video here coming up pretty quick. And we're going to uh, have the reveal of Alex's car as well that I'm sending to him. Talk to everybody soon. Have a great day out there. Make sure to call 1-800-OFF-THE-RAILS. Alex Graff, Wolfsburg Collective, give him a call, Red Pill 